Hello everybody, this is Jared with Duckless Plus again. We are here, um, our second day installing a four zone ceiling cassette branch box system. Uh, this is a very intricate system. It's kind of a unique build. Um, it's, a, it's about a little over a thousand square feet down here. Um, and it's got a lot of window exposure and it does get really hot down here in the summer. And this is gonna be basically a party room, you know, where there's gonna be pool tables, a bar, an exercise room, um, a golf simulator room. So this is the fun floor, right? So um, the customers here really wanted to, you know, have a, a, a ductless system system that, you know, basically is not gonna have anything on the wall or, you know, uh, take any wall space away. And we came up with a, a really good solution for them with the one-way ceiling cassettes from Mitsubishi. And uh, they look really, really good right now. Everything on this install has been super, super smooth. Um, basically, I'll kind of give you a walkthrough on these as I uh, walk around this basement here. So forgive my recording. But uh, so this here is one of the units and you can see our control wire right there. It's going to get tied into uh, that little port up there that you see. That's the control side. We ran the refrigerant pipes basically right through there along this wall. This wall here is going to get framed out. So we put all our refrigeration pipes inside the wall there. And then um, we put the branch box for this machine in this room right here. And as you can see behind me, all the pipes, how they come down in a nice and neat manner. Um, we have one left to do, but also keep in mind what we do when we run our, our line sets is we like to level, label each one which is gonna go into each room, how far each line set is. And then when we're done at the end of the installation, we're gonna put the total right here, okay? So it's basically gonna to explain to everybody how these machines work um, when it comes to doing our DSB. Uh, we, when you run a, a lot of line sets and you have them measured, you want to perform a DSB because you're not going to know how much refrigerant you need to install in these machines. But if you do do a DSB, you will know. So it is very, very important to make sure that you write down your distances of all your line sets. And if you do look, you know, again, we haven't done the primary piping yet today. Um, but it will be done this this day and I'll make another video um, showing that to set up as well when this is all done. Keep in mind when you install these machines, it's very important to label everything, your control wires, which one it goes to here. And then also you have uh, a dressing that needs to be done. I'll have a quick little video on this as far as how you address all your cassettes and how really easy it is. Um, if you just have a, a little bit of attention to detail, you run your refrigeration pipes, you know, in a really clean fashion, you know, you connect them all, you know, make sure that you do a really good clean flare, clean any kind of burrs up that you might get from your flaring tool. You know, just, just spend a little extra time connecting all these connections. If you don't, you, you're potentially gonna run into a problem. Um, so the other thing about the branch box, you know, when you're done connecting all these, you know, fill your line sets up, do a really good pressure test, come back over and make sure that you soapy bubble all these. Just, just do it, you know, test them out before you guys fire up your evacuation process. Because if you don't, you're asking for a problem. You know, and it can literally be, you know, something, you know, fixable before you do all that other step. So, you know, get everything connected on your branch box, tie them all in, tie in your primaries down here. And then, you know, 
do a, a very good detailed pressure test. One thing that I do recommend people do as well is, you know, we run all of our pipes, all these pipes are one pipe. There's no connection joints. And I know that sounds difficult, right? How, well, how am I gonna run a, a 50 foot line set through, through a house? And look, you can figure it out. Don't sit there and tell yourself you can't, but you don't wanna have a bunch of connections. First of all, when they're done drywalling and getting everything finished in this house, are you gonna remember where you had your connections? Did you do a pressure test to test that connection? Do you think that connection can ever go bad? It can. So, you know, keep in mind the, the minimal amount of connections, the better. We personally at our company with Ductless Plus, we don't like to run our pipes with connections. We, we want them to be a solid loop. If that means that we have to do a little bit more work to get that done, if it's going to make it a little bit more difficult, we perform that task. Because at the end of the day, we want to have all of our checks on any connection here at the machine on the branch box, the condenser, or at the in, inside heads, okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to save you a ton of problems down the road. And then if you do a pressure test and you do a really good job testing everything, you're not going to have a huge problem with these machines. I mean, they're very, very flawless, you know. Um, I haven't had a problem with one, you know. And But, but, but it, again, we take a, a good amount of time in checking all our fittings, pressure testing everything, soapy bubbling all of our fittings, cleaning up after ourselves, you know, performing a high quality evacuation system, you know, making sure you're, you're filling it up to a, a decent amount of pressure. You know, Mitsubishi rec recommends you install these machines with nitrogen above 600 pounds of pressure. You know, they want to make sure that you're not going to have a leak. And if you're filling them up that high, you know, if you even have a small one, you're going to have a problem. But being at such a high pressure on your nitrogen test, you're going to find a small one quick. You know, so be thorough, you know, um, make sure that you just do a really good job. Label everything, label everything. I, I can't stress that enough. You know, it doesn't take that much time to get a piece of tape or even use a labeler and stick it on the pipe, stick it on the wire and label it all. You don't, you don't want to run a bunch of stuff and, and also not have them connected. I recommend you run your piping and connect them right then. Don't just have them all dangling there by your branch box. Don't have them all just sitting over there by your indoor unit. Connect them, have them connected. And then you know you're done. And then you move on to the next line set. I always recommend try to do your very most difficult pipes first, because once you get those ones out of the way, everything else kind of seems to smoothen out for you during your install. But remember, do a very thoughtful, you know, uh, design of where you're going to run them. Make sure you run the pipes again, like I said, with no connection joints, solid piping connections, two, two terminations, one on your device and one on your indoor head. And you're going to be a very successful installation tech. You know, uh, this goes to, you know, a lot of, you know, service technicians or installers out there that are, you know, just learning about how to install these branch box systems, but, you know, make them look good too. You know, run a piece of Unistrut, get some cush clamps, bolt them down, make them look nice. You know, make sure that you, you know, you connect them accordingly. You know, you don't want them coming down the wall and a big wad, a mess and all that. You, you, you don't need to make these look sloppy. You know, I, I see it all the time. I, I go and fix other people's installs. And, and I don't know if it's just they just, they're not as picky as I am. But, you know, when it comes down to doing an install, and if I'm paying somebody to do something for me, I want them to do their best. And you service technicians or installers out there, you guys need to do your best too. It's very important to supply a high quality install a high quality a piece of equipment with the Mitsubishi product and you know have a little integrity when you do your systems and don't cut corners the only person you're really going to affect when it comes to that is your quality of work you know you going back on a call or upsetting your customer you know and, and I feel like 
those all cannot, you know, come into play if you're doing a really good job. Uh, I'm going to cut this video out right now. I will be back with another video that shows everything connected. And then we'll be out at the outdoor unit performing our pressure test and kind of showing you how that all works. And then we're going to do a DSB um, on this system from, you know, getting all of our line set distances and all that stuff figured out. And then uh, we're going to show you how to charge them. And then we're also going to do a video um, once it's all wired up on how you do your um, addressing for each one of these inside heads so that the machine knows which ports you're using okay um, thanks again if you like these videos um, you know please give us a like subscribe and hit that bell button and when you see us you know making new ones you'll be the first ones to see them please leave us some questions if you have any questions or you know if you want to learn anything about the Mitsubishi product um, and, and what we do um, please leave us a message we'd be glad to give you a call or even you know send us a, a you know a text message or whatever but um, you know we're, we're here to educate people and teach them about this you know Mitsubishi product and how well they work and you know they're they're, they're amazing machines you know they're just absolutely amazing but, you know, they take a little bit of detail, um, you know, attention to, to, you know, installation practices. All those things come into play when you do these machines. Don't cut corners, installers, service techs. Do your best every time. I don't care what it is you do. And if it's a furnace or an air conditioner or a ductless system, do your best every time. You know, and uh, we're, we're here to help anybody. If you have any questions, we work hand in hand with the local Mitsubishi reps here in Colorado. And we basically, uh, you know, we talk to these guys almost every day. I, they, they probably get annoyed of me, but, you know, we're, we're uh, always trying to find out their new products, what, what they're offering, their new installation techniques, service troubleshooting skills, you know, all that stuff, super important. So give us a call, text us, give us a like, please, if you like these videos again, and uh, hit that subscribe button, please. We're looking for more subscribers and we're, you know, hit that bell button if you're interested in this stuff. And, you know, again, we're, we're, we're here to help people, help the consumer, uh, the, the technicians, the service techs, all that stuff. We're, we're here for you guys. Uh, this is Jared with Duckless Plus and I will be back soon with another video. Take care now, have a wonderful day and be blessed.